in the world of streaming, there's been a lot of sports talk lately. Of course, there's the big Netflix thing. If you want to talk about sports entertainment, Netflix making an investment of five b -b 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 billion dollars in securing the rights for the WWE's Monday Night Raw. We've been hearing about Amazon, uh, we Disney Plus and Amazon, sorry, Disney Plus and Warner Brothers, as well as some others creating this mother of all streaming services. That's going to be like all the sports you can possibly handle. We've seen one of the big, you know, playoff games in the NFL leading up to the Super Bowl being streamed on a streamer. It's like, and I've heard a lot of people, why are streamers going after so much sports right now? Well, this story might give a little indication. You guys know that the Super Bowl just happened and it just wasn't watched by a lot of people. It was watched by more people ever, at least since the Apollo moon landing. This comes to us from Deadline. The 2024 game is not only the most watched Super Bowl ever, it is now the second most watched TV program in history, only behind the 1969 Apollo 11 moon landing, though that aired across multiple networks. This also means that the Chiefs have played in one and the two most watched Super Bowl games of all time. You want to know why streamers are so desperately to get, to get into the sports uh, stuff? Here's a list of the most all-time viewed broadcast in American history. I want you to notice how many of them are sports, particularly the Super Bowl. You, of course, got the Apollo moon landing that happened in 1969. Since then, we've now got the newest Super Bowl that just happened with 123 million viewers, then last year's Super Bowl, then the 2015 Super Bowl, then the 2022 Super Bowl, then the 2014 Super Bowl, the 2016 Super Bowl, the 2012, 17, 11 uh, Super Bowl, until finally in 11th place, we got Richard Nixon resigning. And then it's Super Bowl, MASH finale, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl. In the last 50 years, the top 10s are all Super Bowls. And so in the question about in this age of streaming and stuff like that, why is Disney? Why is Netflix? Why is Amazon? Why is Paramount all seem to be tripping over themselves trying to get their hooks into more sports content, particularly the NFL for a number of them? Well, it's because nothing gets watched more than the NFL in North America. That's just it. They watch, you notice, they listen, as much as my beloved greatest sport God himself has ever created, hockey. You don't see any hockey on this list. You don't see any baseball on this list. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? You don't see any <laughs> NBA. You don't see, it's it's football. But I, I mean, all these other see, things are growing as well. I was shocked to see the day after was on there. Even at 18, I remember that show. I, dude, yeah, the day after it, I think it was 1983. I remember that scared the living shit out of yeah. everybody. You're a little the bit too young for this, yeah. Chris. What is that? But I was like 10 years old. And this is like when the Cold War was still going on, Russia and the U.S. I can't remember which network did it. Uh, it might have been NBC or ABC. They made this TV movie called The Day After that was Russia and America go to nuclear war. Yeah. And nuclear bombs going off and, and what it would be like in America after a nuclear war. And it just scared the crap out of everybody. Ugh. And everybody watched it. Like everybody watched They're it. Like we should get to the uh, treaty table here soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it scared everybody into, into scaring them straight. But I mean, other than that, it's Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. And then every year when you look at the ratings lists, it's, you know, AF, uh, AFC Divisional Playoffs, NFC Championship Game, Monday Night Football, Sunday Night Football, blah, blah, blah. It, it's just sports, sports, sports. And that's why that has been the one missing pillar in the streaming offerings has been live sports. And the number one reason why a lot of people still keep cable instead of just becoming complete cord cutters is because they need their sports. And now that streamers have figured this out, they're going to go hard and heavy after these things. As a matter of fact, they just announced, I think, that next year, it's either the AFC or the NFC Championship game is going to be exclusively streamed on Amazon, I think, or one of the big streamers. At any rate, Chris, you're one of the world's foremost sports pundits. I'm so glad we waited until this topic for me to be here. Thank goodness. But even as an average streaming viewer and stuff like mm -hmm. that, this, when you look at these sheer insane numbers and i'm sure the fact that the deadpool trailer was playing during the super bowl and taylor swift was at the super bowl i'm sure those helped the numbers but still it's always super bowl super bowl super bowl mm -hmm. 
Does this explain more why streamers are going after? Him? Do we expect them to go more hardly after the the sports kind of content? What do you think? I think so. I think you need some content that gets people viewing on the day, right? It's great when you have evergreen content that you can come back to or stuff that people really enjoy, but it's that live, you gotta see it right now kind of content that streamers have been missing out on. And that's also how you get subscribers. It's why a whole bunch of us go to each other's houses for these events too, because yeah. I don't have that channel. I don't have that thing. Let's all watch it together. I don't wanna pay for yet another thing I have to watch. So it makes sense that they're trying to get into this. I mean, I watch these obviously mostly for the commercials and trailers. I am, a lot of people too. I am for there that. for the snacks. Um, I am not there for the content. Some are there for the... Some are there for the smooches. Yeah. Good for them. Uh, and this, this honestly, though, was a really great game. This was a really, it, really it was fun a watch. Game. It was really cool. And I learned a lot this time because I did not know any of those overtime rules. But apparently <laughs> neither did the 49ers. So that's, that's fun oh, stuff for everybody. Speaking of Super Bowl commercials, did you mm -hmm. see there is a five-minute extended cut of that Ben Affleck, Matt Damon J-Lo Dunk, uh, Dunkin' Donuts thing? Because it's the greatest thing on the internet. No. Oh, it was the greatest co commercial ever in Super Bowl history. And the five-minute thing, they just released it this morning. Ugh. Ann and I watched it, and we just laughed our asses off for five straight minutes. It just, every time, I just feel so, as the kids say, it feels so cringy. <laughs> and I just, I'm just always like, why are you shaming Boston like this? Oh, it was why? the best Super Bowl commercial ever. Oof. Tom, you can stay. Oh, I love that. Man, Tom's really trying to get that commercial money now that he and Giselle aren't together. He's got well, to I, I make ends meet. I think he's okay. <laughs> but did you see that other commercial they did where the sports betting app? Yeah. With um, Vince Vaughn. It's like everybody can enjoy sports betting except for Tom Brady. And Tom Brady's like, why? You've won too much. You don't need any more winning. How come Wayne Gretzky gets to do it? Because we're good with Wayne. Anyway. <laughs> guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Harry's. You know guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands, except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stays sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. Uh, guys, question is for you. What do you think about, I mean, first of all, staggering numbers, like the most watched broadcast in over 50 years that again, I know it had something to do with Deadpool dropping a trailer and Taylor Swift, but still incredible numbers. Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.